It's your man Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And now, for the star of the show, weighing in at half a pound, four feet tall in length, your $7 Walmart mirror. <laughs> All right, so let me stop playing. I use my mirror in three different ways depending on what I'm doing. The first way is leaning the mirror on the door trim and the vanity. This will allow you to comfortably stand in front of the mirror and get things done with ease. The second way is standing the mirror straight up against the wall. I usually like to let the mirror hang off the edge a few inches to make things more comfortable when cutting. The final and third way I use my mirror is rotating it 45 degrees from the wall. This is going to be the best way for you if you are looking to do any type of grooming or self haircutting. This allows you to look at both of your mirrors at the same time which will help you see every single square inch of your head. Now like I said previously, this video is all about how I use my mirrors when grooming and cutting my hair. So the mirror that I use is a $7 mirror that I bought from Walmart. It weighs about half a pound and is 4 feet tall. It's honestly perfect for the price. As you can see by looking at the main mirror, it allows you to look through that Walmart mirror and see your entire left side and back of your head. Looking through the Walmart mirror allows you to look through the main mirror and see your entire right side and back of your head. So you already know, I can't create a video about my mirror setup and not give you guys a demonstration. What? I can't let you guys down. I have to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. So right now, I'm about to fade the sides and back of my head. As you just saw, I rotated my mirror 45 degrees so I can see every square inch of my head when cutting. And as you guys see right now, I'm giving you guys a little 360 view of my hair before the fade just to let you guys know what you're working with. Now, to get started, I'll be using a number one guard with the lever halfway open. Using some of the advice given to me in my previous self haircutting videos from actual barbers, instead of bringing up my initial guideline halfway up the side of my head, I'm going to be shorting up that guideline by only going up my head about half an inch and then drastically dropping the fade once I get to around the back of my head. This will allow me to stretch out the fade to give it a much smoother transition as the hair gets longer up my head. So take a look at how I'm positioning my body when I'm cutting my hair. So I'm looking at one mirror and then I'm looking at the next mirror and then I'm turning and twisting. Look at how I'm using the clippers, how I'm bending my arms, how I'm turning my body. It's just these simple things that can really, really enhance how you cut your hair. And I think you guys should really take note as to how I'm bending and looking at those mirrors to get all around my head. Using the number two guard lever halfway open, I'm going to be going up one inch from that initial guideline. If you watch any of my previous hair cutting videos, I would usually go up about half an inch from my initial guideline. By starting that initial guideline lower on my head like I did in this haircut, I can now stretch out the fade with the next guard, making the transition seamless. Just a friendly reminder, make sure you guys are staying hydrated, you know, it gets hot in there, you get a little sweaty, drink up that water, stay focused. So right here you can see I'm looking at the main mirror to look at the Walmart mirror. 
and I'm bending my right arm because I'm a righty and I'm really twisting it to get to the opposite side of my head to do the left side. So now using the number one guard with the lever open, I'm going to start blending in that hard line that I left when cutting the initial guideline. Make sure you're going up about a quarter of an inch and flick up and away from your head. So to get a closer look, you can see using that number one guard with the lever open, going up about a quarter of an inch and flicking up and away from the head. This is my favorite part of any type of fade. It really just makes the haircut stand out. Now using the number two guard with the lever open, we're gonna take off some of that bulk. Still using the same concept, instead of going up a quarter of an inch, we're gonna go up about half an inch and flick up and away from your head. When you're cutting your own hair, make sure you try to stand up as straight as you can. Try not to lean your body a lot because it will throw off your angled perception and hand-eye coordination. This goes for both your clipper work and your scissor work. Now that I'm done using my clippers, my sides and back of my head are looking pretty good right now, but we can definitely make it look better. Here I'm changing up my mirror and letting it lean on my door trim. Using my thinning shears and a comb, I'll be using the scissor over comb technique to blend in the bulkier hair with the fade I created using my clippers. If you guys are interested in any of the tools that I use in any of my videos, I left links in the description for all of the tools that I use from my clipper to my trimmers to my scissors and so forth. So again, make sure you guys click the link in the description to see all the tools that I use. Oh, snap. Oh snap, look at that fade. Oh, look at that fade. Wow, oh, the back of the head. Oh, you need to work on that. Let's get that going, ugh. So just take a close look as to how my body's positioned right here. So I'm looking at the main mirror to look at the Walmart mirror to cut the back of my head. And then you can see I'm bending my arm up and around behind my head I'm turning around, I'm making sure that I'm positioning my body in the most comfortable position so I can blend in that hair. Sheesh. All right, so you guys can see what difference the thinning shears makes for the fade, right? It makes a huge difference. Now, I have to jump in with the trimmers to line up the edges. But before then, I gotta let you guys know, make sure you go to my Instagram and you click that follow button. If you guys like this, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I love to engage with all of you guys watching in the comments on Instagram, whether it be replies to my posts or my stories. I just love engaging with you guys, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. I know it might not be easy to see, but I'm trimming up my hair right now with my wall trimmers. Okay, I'm using my mirrors, making sure I'm getting those lines extra crispy. And you know, you can't finish a nice haircut without trimming your edges. So make sure you guys use the trimmer and shape up your hairline.
So right here, if you guys need to bring in another person to do the back of your head when you're edging, okay, feel perfectly okay doing that. Me, I've had a lot of experience doing it, so I feel perfectly comfortable. So if you need help, grab your mom, grab your dad, grab anybody to just help you line up the back of your head. And he does a 360 spin for no reason. All right, now we get into the 360 view for the final haircut product. Look at that fade. That looks so nice. Notice in this haircut, I didn't touch the top at all. I just wanted to fade the bottom to show you guys how to use the mirrors. And I think it came out exceptionally well. But wait, I couldn't have made this video without my handy dandy Walmart mirror. <laughs> Guys, it's really $7 to get this mirror. Super cheap, super affordable, and it makes all the difference when you're cutting your hair. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate all of you guys watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed this one, but I'll catch you next time. Peace.